Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss about the overloading of equality operators in C++. There are two equality operators in C++, double equal to and not equal to. The equality operator equal to and not equal to has lower precedence than the relational operators but they behave similarly the return type of these operator is bool it takes two value either true or false the equal to operator return true if both operands have the same value otherwise it return false Suppose we have two integer variable and value of first integer is 10 and value of second integer is 20. Now check the condition. If A is equal to equal to B, now the equality operator equal to return true if this condition is evaluated to be true we can say if both operand have the same value otherwise it return false now in this case a is equal to equal to b both the operands are different now in this case this condition is evaluated to be false then the result is false. For not equal to operator, A is not equal to B. Now in this case, the not equal to operator return true if, if the operand do not have the same value. Otherwise, it return false. Now in this case, both the operand do not have the same value. The result is true. Equality operators only work on primitive data type. But if we want to perform operation on user defined data type, then we have to overload equality operators. That is, we have to give special meaning to the operators inside the class. Let's see the code for overloading of equality operators is equal to and not equal to. First of all, create a class, class ABC an ABC class having one private data member int n and one public member function is there void get with get function input the value of n first of all with see out display the message enter value of n Then with the scene, input the value of n. Then define the operator function. Define the is equal to operator function and define not equal to operator function. Bool is a return type. Then operator keyword. Then operator symbol. And passing object as an argument. ABC is the name of the class and A1 is the name of the object. Then put the condition if n is equal to a1.n if this condition is true then function return true 
if the return type is bool then operator function return true if condition is true otherwise this function return false then define the operator function for not equal to operator return type then operator keyword then operator symbol then passing object as a argument put the same condition for not equal to just change the operator symbol now in this case if n is not equal to a1 dot n class body and with the closing curly braces and inside the main function create the object of class n1 n2 are the object of abc class first of all call the get function n1 dot get with get function input the value of n and the value of n is stored in n1 then n2 dot get the second value is stored in n2 then after that put the condition if n1 is equal to equal to n2 if this condition is true then see out n1 is equal to n2 otherwise check the second condition n1 is not equal to n2 if this condition is true then see out n1 is not equal to n2 if both conditions are evaluated to be false then see out exit this message is to be printed on to the screen this is a complete code for overloading of is equal to and not equal to operator an abc class is created to overload the equal to and not equal to operator inside the class define one data member n and one member function get with the help of get member function input the value of n then after that overload the equal to and not equal to operator and both the operator function having return type bool bool is a return type for boolean data type it takes two value either true or false and inside the main function create the object of abc class then call the get function twice to input the value of n there is one important point we do not need to overload both equal to and not equal to operator because if the value are equal then overloaded equal operator is executed if not then else if will display a message on the terminal both are not equal but to explain the working of both method we have defined two overloaded function is equal to and not equal to now run this code now after the execution of this code first of all n1 dot get get function call input the value of n 
then call get function with second object now object 1 hold the value 45 and object 2 hold the value 34 then condition is to be evaluated if n1 is equal to equal to n2 condition is evaluated to be false the value of n1 is 45 and value of n2 is 34 45 is not equal to 34 condition is evaluated to be false then control transfer to the lc part now n1 is not equal to n2 condition is evaluated to be true then n1 is not equal to n2 this message is to be printed onto the screen the meaning of equal to and not equal to operator already defined inside the class if you want to perform operation on user defined type then we have to define the meaning of operator inside the class this is all about the overloading of equal to and not equal to operator in C++.